Well, good morning. I'm back in California. I had a great time in Korea. Um, hunting with Mike was a fun, fun time. Really great guy. Uh, at 6.57 in the morning, it's Monday. I flew back on Saturday. I don't have to be at work until tonight. <clears throat> so in order to get myself back on my normal schedule, I thought I'd leave the house early, do a little hunt, and uh, see what we can find. Um, since I've been gone here, it hasn't really rained, so everything's dried out a bit. It's kind of nice. Um, and that means more people are in the parks. So, let's see what they seeded for me. <laughs> Hopefully I find something good. But yeah, it's uh, 6.57 in the morning. Uh, May 6th. So, happy day after Cinco de Mayo. Anyways, um, yeah, we'll do the usual. Hit up the tot lot and then hit some grassy areas. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully there's something good. Okay. Well, there's our first good find of the day. First actual find was a bottle cap. Look at that shiny zinc in. Let's get it out and see what it is. <clears throat> to 2019. Look how clean that is. <laughs> Crap coins. I accidentally hit slow mill on the last one. Uh, behind his Zinkin was a dime. Oh, look at that, another penny. Okay. Not too bad. And then a nickel. Not too bad. All right, hopefully this isn't the 30 second curse. I'll take a nickel. And another penny. All right, I'll keep hitting this area up. Seems to be a lot of holes in their pockets over here. Guess what I found? <laughs> another penny. That's a 2012. Nice uh, high pitch 21 signal on the uh, Knox 800. That was a 14. A little decorative rivet. There's one in here. Hiding. <clears throat> there's one. I think there's another one over here, too. I'm not feeling it. All right, well, we'll take that one. Just looks like a penny hunt today. Right. I just didn't go out far enough. It's right in here. Do the slow reveal. There it is. I accidentally moved it. There it is. Another penny. Yay. We know he had to make an appearance, didn't we? Le Portab. Are we tired of seeing pennies yet? <laughs> Come on, at least be a copper penny. Not zinc. And two more pennies. <sighs> Things are worse than pull tabs today. He's only got one of those so far. Well, I finally got another nickel. <laughs> it's a 1969. Woohoo! Holy cow, you'll never guess what I found! A penny! I may have gotten something, not a penny. Let's look. Down here. Whatever it is, it's right here. It's a dime. <laughs> I thought it would be a quarter. Mm -hmm. At least it's not a penny. I'll take a dime. After digging uh, several bottle caps, a soda can, and some other junk, huh? finally got a solid 13, a nickel. Yay, I got a nickel, I got a nickel. I just had a... <laughs> I can't even speak. I just had a signal that was really high. It's like a 31 on the Knox, which is a screamer. And uh, yeah, it just made my day. Hold on a stay blinking. One dollar coin. I hope there's more here. I like digging these. Yep, 
lawnmower, but hey, I got a nickel. I'm trying out a new tool. Um, let me show it to you real quick. And it's perfect for targets like this. Um, it looks dangerous. But this is the Groundhog from Tiger Stainless from Australia. T-Y-G-E-R. This is an R&D model. He uh, wanted me to try it out and see how it works. Um, it's not like using a leshy, or a leshy you can cut a plug. This is more for popping targets that are close by to the top. You can use it kind of like a, a probe, you know, probe for the coin, find the edge, and then pop it loose. So that's what I've been using it for, and it's been working pretty good. Uh, I gave it a wrap here just because uh, it's a little more comfortable. I need to wrap the end here. Uh, probably could be rounded a little bit more on the edges because it does want to leave a mark on your heel right here of your palm. But other than that, it's a good little tool. Um, he's still developing them, so I'm going to give him the feedback that I have. And uh, yeah, but I like it so far. And this is my first hunt with it. So th thought I'd show that off to you. Uh, Tiger Stainless. I'll put a link in the description below. He's got a lot of really cool tools. Makes everything out of stainless steel and that, they're pretty tough. So, all right, back to the hunt. That was a surface find I'm right there. Easy, I love those. All right, right under this root, 1969 penny. Finally got a copper one. Woohoo! This was not the gold coin I wanted to find. Blech. Look what we got here. I can make out Canada on it. <laughs> on this side. So we got a foreign zinkin. Welcome to California, you canuck. Coin spill. It literally sounded like audio vomit. <laughs> Tones everywhere. Two quarters, three dimes, and two pennies. And right after the coin spill, got myself a car. What is it? It's a made in Indonesia Hot Wheels. No real name on it. Back wheels are kind of bent. But he's cool looking. Well, I think this is going to be the last target for today. I'm going to go dump out my finest pouch and uh, we'll do a roundup a little bit later. Okay? Okay, so I'm back home. Uh, we can go ahead and do a roundup now. Yay! All right, so we got the car. We got a $1 coin, two quarters, one's a 1991 and one's a 2000-something or other. Got a 90 or 76 penny, looks like a seven or dime, sorry. Whew, my, I'm tired. <laughs> a 1975 dime, an 84 or 2017, looks like a 89, and a really shiny 2018. Got a 2002 nickel, a 1969 nickel, a 2018 smash nickel, another, it's a 1992, and I'll zoom in on that one, 1983. A 2013, a 2017, a 2019, a 2005, a 97, a 2002, that's the old penny, 69, an 84, a 2010, a 2018, it's upside down, a 2012, another 2018, a 1997, another 2018. And then we have this little oddball here. Uh, she's a little Canuck. Got a little Canuck penny. Uh, let's see if you can see Canada, Canada there. There's a Canada. It's a 2010. <laughs> <clears throat> I think that's the newest uh, Canadian penny I've ever found. So a little about this. My first impression. Um, it's pretty good for popping coins, shallow coins, or popping small targets that are shallow. Um, I did notice, because I'm a little ham-fisted with things, um, don't go too deep with this little guy here, because it will bend. 
as you can see right there. I got a little bend to it. Uh, yeah, I have to put it in a vise to straighten it out. Um, <clears throat> you can't saw a plug with it, so the leshy is still good for that. However, if you're working around roots, this tip is perfect for getting in there and finding that little thing. I like it. Uh, the only thing I would change on it, which um, I could probably do a wrap around here, but this edge here is a little sharp on the hand and needs a little cushioning. So I'll probably get some more paracord at work tonight and try to do a wrap around. And if not, I'll just stick it on the grinder and just give a little, little radius to it. But um, let me get one of those stickers out. If you're interested in any tools like this, um, check out tigerstainlesssteel.com. You can pause it and take that website, or you can hit the link in the description below. Uh, it's Quality Made Australian Digging Tools. Uh, he is, does have a Facebook site and Instagram site. Uh, I can't became interested in them because I'm in a couple of Aust Australian uh, prospecting sites, and he makes his own version of a leshy um, and a few other things, but they're really, really sturdy tools. Uh, like I said, this is still an R&D, uh, probably not on the website yet, but um, I like it. It's light, somewhat lightweight. I mean, it's got some heft to it, but at the same time, um, if you practice, you can probably use it as a throwing knife. <laughs> uh, I like it, though. It's a good tool. I plan on using it more and more in the future, uh, but if I'm digging a plug, I'll still stick with the Leshy or some sort of plug digging type tool. Uh, but for shallow targets, perfect for popping them right out. Uh, a few of these coins I popped with this. Um, it could be also, I mean, as far as it bending, it stopped raining about three weeks ago, so the ground's dried up pretty good. So that could be why it's bent a little bit. <laughs> Like I said, I'm a little tough with things. But all in all, I like it. It's a good little tool. But yeah, uh, if you're interested, check them out. Um, once again, links down there in that description area. And uh, yeah, tell them Matt from Metal Detecting and Stuff with Matt sent you. So if you end up liking something and buying it. Anyways, uh, that's all for now. Y'all take care. Good luck out there. Happy hunting. And for the first hunt for me, being back in the States after this last trip to Korea, I think it was successful. That park normally doesn't produce much. And, you know, I got uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, $2 and 10, 20, 30, 5, 40, 50, $2.54 in two hours worth of swinging. And a car with a rear axle problem. <laughs> I think it's got a bug motor. But you all take care. Good luck out there. Happy hunting. Stay safe. And bye for now. Can I, can I stop smiling now? Can I? Okay. I'm going now.